alone in this track, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As I come back, this is the alone and this walk. All right, so we're going live again. I am giving this a little moment for our people to join in. All right, we already got a couple people join in. Um, this is the uh, this is a little podcast. We're all going to talk about certain things. You know, shalom, brothers and sisters. Ow, shalom. We just finished the prayer. Whoever did not join us, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and start start the podcast. I mean, start praying. All right. I'm just putting some of you as moderator because we've been having um, some issue with some of the troll. And we know they are troll, okay? Okay, we know we got some of the people which are trolls, okay? We know that. And uh, they've been trying to mess up with the message, okay? So um, today we are going to discuss... Uh, mostly Matthew chapter seven, chapter 24, okay? Chapter 24. Oh, all right. Let's see. This one is done. There we go. Mostly we will discuss uh, chapter 24. Brothers and sisters, today we are going to discuss. Uh, first, can it, can ever Can everybody hear me well? Give me a one, type one. Because I always have to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's good. Good. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Well, if you just join us, we said welcome. I want to make this perfectly clear for all of you that are listening. We are not here for your feelings. This is not what this is channel. We're not about this. Again, this is not a church. Brother Big Judah already went into this. Okay, we are, we are going wherever Father sent us. A lot of you wants to go to heaven. Oh, a lot of you people wants to go to heaven, but nobody want to go to hell. Oh, did you forget the path to heaven was through hell? We've been going through hell. We're still in hell. Our people went to Jacob's trouble, man. We're still living in hell. But that was the path for us to took to get to heaven. And some of you people that have been in heaven and you want to experience that last heaven, but you don't want to go through that hell that we went through. And you all, okay? All right? Thank you for everybody in the chat room, all right? So now, brothers and sisters, I want to talk about stay out of the Mosai way. You're too little to understand what's going on here. You're a child. You do not know the Mosai in mind. You do not know how he operates. Stop telling the Mosai what to do. Stop telling his servant what to do. If you do not agree with somebody's message, there are plenty of churches out there that they will accept your message. Oh, they will surely accept that message. Okay? They will change that message. All right. Uh, I want to say a special shout out to Brother Peter, which just joined us. You know, the brother, I just want the brother to know again that there will be no Jacob's trouble, man. Th this is the main purpose of this channel is to let everybody know that the 400 years is up. All those hell that you're seeing out there is because you people refuse to repent. You people refuse to admit your sin. You, you, you refuse to admit that you did something wrong. You re to repent and come and cleave unto us so you can make it in the kingdom. And now you want us to kiss your... So you can... Look, there, should, there, there will not be no sugar coating here. There will not be no kiss but here. The message is fine, it's clear. I'm sending you to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are not here for everybody. If you are chosen Gentiles, you feel the message is getting through you. 
You humble yourself, you listen. You don't come over here and telling us how to do the Messiah's work. You don't come here because, oh, I'm a chosen Gentile. That guy baptized me. It's your job now to go out there and look for chosen Gentiles and then and, and make them save their soul. I can't save nobody's soul, man. Who am I? There's nothing I can do for you, man. I can save your soul, man. Yo, I can't go out there and force people and fight with them. I could be in the street. You know what? I make project. I think I'm still going to be uh, going the street and preach. I can't go over there and force those people, man. And you know for a fact, some of those people, they truly hate our God. Th that's what they are. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> for those of you that think this is a simple thing, this is a like you think you think like it's simple. Have a uh, it's simple as a gentile just walk up to you and say, "Oh, um, you guys are talking about heaven." I know my fathers, my forefather did a lot of hell, and um, uh, um, I want to go to heaven. I don't want to die. Fine, this person will come to you. You don't think some of them will lie to you? Those people are narcissistic. Some some of them are sh straight up sociopath. They lie to you. They, they tell you, okay, well, um, pray for me. And then behind your back, they are stabbing you. You think splashing water on those people is something that is simple? You think they will save like that? It doesn't work as simple as it is, brothers and sisters. Some of those people, they've been in the church. They get baptized in the church and the water. It's not that simple. You have to let the Holy Spirit, you, like, you have to let Father send you this person. Father will send you the, the person say, this is one of mine, one of my lost sheep. Take him, pray for him, baptize him. But for you to go out there and chasing people and saying, oh, you there, you look like a good guy. Let me baptize you. Let me bring you to Father. It doesn't work like this. Okay? Brothers and sisters, our main focus is our Father. We have to get on our knees and pray every day to hell with the rest. Humble. We humble ourselves. You know what the word humble means? We have compassion. We have love. And in and, and Matthew chapter 24, when Ye Yeshaya, Yahawasha, Yeshaya came in, he looked at the crowd. He looked at the captive, the hurt. Those were all people. In that time, the woman's empire, the Edomite were on top of us. They weren't the captive. They weren't the prisoner. They weren't the hungry. They weren't the lepers. We were. Yahweh, Yeshaya, Yeshaya, look upon us, his own people, man. He cried like, oh my God, look at my people, man. Then he had compassion. His heart, he like, he, he looked at them. It's like, my people shouldn't be living like this, man. And he killed them. Yahweh, I did. And we remember when the fairies in. When the enemy came in, he cursed them out. You mean to tell me I, as a child of God, need to go out there for the people that rape, rob, murder, or put us in Jacob's trouble, that we went to the priest of Omahan, and you want me to have compassion for those people when their heart is truly hatred? When Yahweh went to the temple of his father, um, he saw the people were selling stuff in there. Did he have compassion upon them? He knew who those people were. He get a whip and whip their asses. Yahweh beat the crap out of him. Yeshaya beat the spirit out of him. Did you know John the Baptist always went to jail like all the time because he always have to fight people? This is not simple as you, you, some people put it out there. Just go ahead and have compassion. That's not how it works, brothers and sisters. It doesn't work like that. Remember, our people were so badly beaten by Father. He did this to us. Okay? Father did this to us. We went through so much trauma that when Yahweh saw us, he saw the remnant of Israel. He break down. He had compassion. Which true, this is how we're supposed to be towards our brothers and sisters. The enemy have no compassion, no love for you. They will see you. They will kill you. They'll say, okay, have compassion towards us. 
That's what they were telling you doing in the church. Don't come here with your church minded, man. Telling me I have to go out there and save the Gentiles. The Gentiles have to come to us so we can pray for them. Don't be telling me they don't know anything about what's going on right now. They take like everything that's going on out there. It's natural. They lie to themselves. Brothers and sisters, they are liars. That's why John tell them, you scumbags are liars. The truth is not in you. The truth is not in those people, brothers and sisters. No matter what you do, there is nothing you can do. It won't change those people because the truth is not in them. You tell, you tell the truth in this channel, which is it's already too late. 400 Jesus up. Your door is closing. You know what those people want? Be, have compassion and love for me. Pray for everything to go back to normal. Yes, we have been enslaved one way or another. Those people never know slavery at the pace that we know it. Now they are coming to our channels. Oh, you should be praying for us Gentiles because in the last day, we're going to have to feed you. Oh, hell no. You're not the Mosai. We're not going to call on our belly and begging you for food. Father said he will restore the, the years of the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the locusts have eaten. We're not worried about your food, man, nor your money, man. We don't need this here. Go to the church. The church is where you can say this. The church where you can make the message comfortable, you know, for that whatever, man. It's not that simple, brothers and sisters. Stay out of father's way. Stay out of his way. Yes. <laughs> now the tribulation has barely started and they are breaking down. Be that thing hasn't even started yet. Barely. You see those people are crying and now, now they are running to us. Okay, well, your father's after us. Now pray for us. G get us out of this. Get us out of this hell so we can go to heaven with you. Come on, pray for us, man. Oh, hell no, man. We went to hell. That's that's the only way you can go to heaven, by going through hell. You think that's that's what it is? You experience your 400 years of heaven here, and the next thing you know, you're going to go to heaven again. You're going to rule over there and tell us what to do and how to pray. We should pray for you. We don't have this here, man. We can't do this nonsense here, man. Brothers and sisters, you know, Yes, we have, listen to me. It's not that simple. A father's mind is not that simple. If you go out there, you tell anybody, whether it looks like a Gentile or it looks one out like us, and that person reject your message and that person shoo you away, the truth is not in them. There's nothing you can do about this. And frankly, I will tell you, don't go. Those people act like, oh, we never heard of uh, Hebrew Israel. Like, we never heard of like those people are the true chosen children of God. Somebody better come over here and tell me. They act like nobody have the internet. They act like they didn't see that uh, uh, things that went on Fox News over there in D.C. They act like they don't know anything. They act like they never watched none of our videos. They want you to have that church mind. Chase me. Go chase me. When Yahweh Shai give you direct orders to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The grafted Gentiles, they humble themselves. I met plenty of Gentiles that humble themselves. They want to get in. Okay? Yes, because those people, they are deceived and they want to deflect everything. Because they never face anything like that. All they want you to do now is pray for me. Pray for me so I can change. Pray not so pray for things to change back to normal. Pray Yahweh for the door to open back. Oh hell no, man. Oh hell no. We're not gonna pray for things to come back. We are praying for things to get worse. We told you already the 400 years is up. It's two things. You know. Either way, you're gonna have to lie down there and spread those cheek. You're gonna take it just like we did. This is your time. This is your turn. That has nothing to do with us. Okay? Yes. True Gentiles are like lost family members. Those are the true Gentiles. Look, brothers and sisters, 
This is going to get very controversial. The true Gentiles, they are the lost sheep. They are your brothers and sisters. They look different, but they are the lost sheep. They are the Gentiles. They don't care about that, man. They don't care about us at all. They show it. They, this person can look just like you. He's another Gentile. He's not the one that Father is taking. You know? You know, so, you know, <clears throat> yes, again, Esau was a family member, but he got cut off. The Mosiahs reject his, blo his bloodline, just like Cain. The Mosiahs did not have respect unto Cain. Even his Cain, Cain's best children was Lamech, Lamech of Cain. Did you know Lamech of Cain actually worshipped our father? Lamech of Cain was a murderer. He was a rapist and idolater. The moment he started worshiping with Jared, Jared um, um, taught him how to worship the Mosai. You know, um, and every time Jared told him, you cannot worship father. He will not heal you. He will reject your line. But Lamech, have, Lamech spent 25 years worshiping the Mosai. In those 25 years, he never killed he never commit um well he was he was going to that prostitute in that whole house but he never killed commit murders or anything like that he humbled himself him and the refaim over him and the refaim the refaim are the descendant of the fallen quote unquote angel remember when brother enoch went and see them and then they told enoch look Go to your father. Go to the high one, the ancient one. Tell him we are so sorry. We're looking for love and compassion and stuff. And Enoch said, no problem. And then Enoch went to father and tell father, um, the fallen angels, they say that they are sorry. They don't. Father said, there is no sorry here, man. There will be no forgiveness here. You done. You know what you did. You weren't supposed to do it. You're not children. You done it. You're going to pay for it. And Father condemn them. Don't be telling me, oh, oh, God don't want everybody to perish. Are you are you out of your freaking mind, man? After all you people done, you think like splashing some little water on you going to save you? You think that side works? Father tell Enoch straight up. Tell them niggas, listen, I'm going to come. You know what? Take Sam Jaza, bury him in the desert, put jagged work in his face. I'm coming for them. And he told Enoch, tell those women that, okay, well, um, uh, I'm going to forgive them. Because the women didn't know. They got raped by those angels. So he will restore those women. Okay? And he told the line of Cain, look, yo, Cain murder Abel, man. The Mosai went to Cain. He asked Cain, okay, you murder Abel. I understand. Do you admit, do, are you sorry? Will you willing to repent? I will forgive you. He sent three to four angels to Cain. Cain said, no, I don't give an uh. I'm going to live on my own strength. So what up, dude? What's up, my Negro? I don't need your forgiveness. That's how his children are. There's nothing you can do for those. You can take Cain. You baptize him. He cannot repent. Cain cannot repent. This is in his heart, brothers and sisters. It's not something that is that simple. It's not as simple as it is. You think you, you can come out of nowhere and take Cain and baptize him and, and make him safe again? It doesn't work like this. They have to get a right side and a left side. They have to get light and darkness. Everything cannot be light. Everything cannot be darkness. There's to be a balance here. All right? Okay, so exactly, man. We should be praying for our people, man. Those people that they made, they make up their mind. They took the oath. That's why those police officers are killing our people. You think they are sorry? You think by you getting on your knee and praying for them? Oh, I'm gonna baptize you. You're going to change. You'll see. And tomorrow they went back and do the same thing again. Those people really don't care. Brothers and sisters, there is no other nation on this face of this earth that has more compassion and love than our nation. 
Our nation is the mother of compassion, uh, compassion and love. Our nation is the mother of peace, blessing, and wisdom. There is no other nation that has compassion just like we do. It's something that is embedded in us. It's something that we were born with. It's not that simple, brothers and sisters. Don't be telling me those people been doing all those crime, rape, rob, murder, and kill our people, and then at the last day when they see their houses burning, everything in the house, and then they run into you and say, look, look, listen, man, I, I don't want to go to hell, man. So what's up? What should I do? Well, you should repent. You should truly repent. Brother, it's not about the water baptism. It's in your heart. You have to truly repent here. When they pull you in the water and pull you out, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. But if, if your heart is all like you using this as a trick, you think we are some type of church. You're going to come over here and trick us and lie to us. It doesn't work like that, brothers. It doesn't work like that. Nobody... Nobody has no compassion and love than our people. We love everybody. We have compassion for everyone. But nobody have compassion and love for us. They want to destroy us. They are spraying things in the air. They are poisoning our food. They are doing all they can do to kill us. What the hell you want us to do? Pray for them. Pray for them they can change. Pray for Satan to become God too. Pray for Satan to become like real like God too. It doesn't work like that, man. Father said straight up. He told Enoch, listen, <clears throat> them niggas know what they did and I'm coming for them. Go over there. He said, he said Michael, Gabriel, go over there and take them, take Sam Jazate and his, and his lackeys, go lock them up. Father didn't sit there. They, brothers and sisters, do you know there are some sin that you committed? There's no repentance from that. There's nothing you can do. If Father did not choose you, there's nothing you can do for those people, brothers and sisters. Stop wasting your time. Stay out of Father's way. Stay out of Father's way, man. There's nothing. Look, listen. We've been telling how long this truth been going on. Let's see. I woke up and um, well, technically, I was always I was born, woke up. You know, I was born, woke up, but I truly woke up in uh, 2010, I believe. 2010, yes. It's been over 10 years. You mean to tell me every single person out there know about the Illuminati. They know about the music industry. They know about uh, um, Jay-Z and Kanye West and all, all those like that, okay? Uh Yes, those who, who are prejudiced, and he's not talking about those who hate him, the father, but those who bless Israel and the father's working with them. I couldn't even put it in a better way. You say this, okay, but don't be coming over here and telling me that, okay, um, this guy, he hates our guts. He want to kill us. He profaned the name of our father. And he, he and all of a sudden now, you know, um, he come with a trick. And when, when you're about to pay, oh, I repent. So what's up? We're going to go to heaven together. So what up? You know, it, it doesn't work like that. That's not how it works. It has to come here in your heart. Okay. So that's how it works. All right. Um, What was I was saying again? Um, Yes. About a uh, uh, father to stay out of his way. Listen. You too little to understand what's going on here. Father's mind is not for you to comprehend. Father's mind, you're not here to tell father how to do his work. You're not here to say, okay, well, those Gentiles over there, they, they kind of look sorry. Oh my God, look what happened to those people. Though. Their houses are burning. Oh, may God put out their father. You don't know what those people did to get that house. You don't know what their forefather did to get that land. You have no idea who are those people. Okay? Yes, father tell them cover their eyes so they won't see any light. Look, yo, man, father, people think this thing is so it's so simple. It's so simple. So we're gonna go out there and grab a bunch of gentiles and bring them in. They'll accept you. Those people barely don't want to wear a mask. They know about this truth. You mean to tell me it's been over 10 years? 
even longer than that. Our people are there telling you we are the children, telling you cleave unto us. And then now when your trouble started, when that coronavirus is all up upon you, that opioid crisis is killing your people, the fire is killing them, your beast is dying. Now you want to come, okay, let's negotiate. How about you let me on top in the Israelites movement? I will tell you guys what to do. Everybody can come in. Everybody will go into heaven. It doesn't work like that here, man. Look, if you do not like our message, go somewhere else. There are plenty of churches out there, man. Oh, they'll take you in. Those churches will take you in. Okay? They need to humble themselves and cleave unto us. That's the only way, man. We're not going to humble ourselves and cleave unto you. Who the f are you? you nothing, man. Yo, you, you people are nothing. We are princes and princes. We are the salt of the earth. Yes, the hearts were hardened. People think like you can melt those people's hearts. You can't do this. It doesn't work like that, brothers and sisters. It doesn't. The pride, the hatred of those people. They don't care. You think those people really care about going to hell until they get there? Oh, boy, until they get there. Okay? They are like speed, man. The most I say, you, you people are like speed. Those are my children. Those are salt. You should go ahead and cleave unto them without barking. And everybody want us to be the same person. Get on your knees and pray for us. Pray for things to go back to normal. How about another 400 years? Hmm? How about another 400 years? Why can't you pray for another 400? You people are racist. Why can't you pray for things? Why can't you pray for everybody to get to back to normal? Hmm? Exactly. We're not supposed to submit to them. Look, if you cannot submit to us and walk under us, there's no sugar coating this, man. Oh, Gentiles, please, we beg you, come. We beg. We're not begging anybody, man. We are the children of the Most High, yo. We told you straight fact. Stop what you're doing. Repent and cleave unto us. Oh, no, I, I don't know about that. So you guys are saying God is black. Jesus Christ is black. I don't know about this. This sounds racist. This It's a fact. Well, it's, it's, it's ra racist. Yeah, always want to uh, pray for things to go back to normal. Yo, we can't pray for that, man. We can't pray for things to go back to normal, man. This is horrible, all right? I want to talk about this. Stay out of the way. Now, step up. Oh, let's put this over here. Brothers and sisters, this is the last day. I'm going to read a little of, uh, um, uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay. The Well, you should read Matthew, the old chapter four. Okay. Let's see. I think Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false so Christ and false prophet and shall shoot great sign and wonders and so much that if it were possible. Whoa. You guys hear that? Okay. There was a... Can everybody hear me well? Yeah, the cell phone was near the speakers. All right, all right. <clears throat> yeah, man, stay out of father's way, man. You, pe you people are like, look, listen, I, I understand this. I understand. You see, this is, what, this is what shows you that our people truly have compassion and love. Look, compassion is not like something you can go... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Compassion is not like something you can go get. 
You have to be born with compassion. Compassion is not like something you just find out about it. It's something that is embedded in you. You were born with it. People are acting like it's something you have to train yourself to have compassion. No. This is who you are. You have to be born with it. When you have a shy, you're shy at Jesus Christ. When you look upon our, our brothers and sisters, brother, let me tell you something. If you come a negado, if you go like in, in, uh, in the worst of the worst, if you go in Haiti, you see how our people are living. And you look, you look upon those people, you see them in the ghetto and the favelas, you see them in the hood, you see how those people are, 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 are living. If deep down you feel happy, you're like, man, I'm so happy those people are living like that. I'm better than them. You're not one of us. You're not one of us. If you go in Mississippi, in the rural area, you saw how people live. And in the bottom of your heart, you, you, you feel sad, man. You're like, you, you have, you're like, Father, man, please help our people. This is compassion. Compassion is not something you can buy. You can't go to Walmart and buy a bag of compassion. It doesn't work like that. You people are acting like compassion. Oh, you have to get compassion and love to get under the Melchizedek and save those Gentiles. It doesn't work like that. That's not like something you just go to the corner store and then you, you buy it. It doesn't work like that. Our people already been born with the law embedded in them. We are the law. We are born with it. Even from Adam to the line of Seth all the way down to us. It's something that was, you know, it, yes, it's something that's needed into our system. It's, it's, it's inside of DNA and blood. Just like it's inside of DNA and blood, we were born with it. The other side doesn't have it. If they weren't born with it, they don't, frankly, they don't want it. All they want is for things to get back to normal. Amen. How about we go back to the 1950s? Yeah. Every time you see a brother get shot in the street by the cops, man, you feel compassion, man. You feel anger too, but you feel compassion upon our people. When you see our people being destroyed, it's in your heart. You're already feeling it, man. Did you know some people, they see our brothers and sisters get, getting shot and murdered. They are happy. How are you going to save this person? How? How are you going to baptize and save? It's not that simple, brothers and sisters. It's not that simple. Empty vessel. They celebrate. Don't you know those people have barbecue? They invite the cops that did this over. They celebrate this. How? You, you're going to come in and, 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 and that little celebration right by the pool and plunge him in the pool, say you're saved in the name of God. You think that's how it works? You think that's how you think those people are sorry? They are narcissists. The heart, that is, it's about your heart. It's truly hatred. Some of the Gentiles you know, they got good heart. They will feel bad. They see that. They know what's going on. But truly inside, they feel really bad. Those are the ones you can save. Those are the ones you, if you plunge them in the water, you pull them out, they are safe. But if that person's heart is not good, you can drown him in that water. There's nothing you can do for him. If the Mosai doesn't want that person, you can pull that person in a... Olympic swimming size of water or pool and a regular pool and the river, take that person to the goddamn ocean. You cannot save him because their heart, they truly have that hatred in there. Our people is the most compassionate people on earth, man. Our people will see other nations suffering. They're like, oh God, please don't do this. Don't let this happen to those people. Even though those people are your enemy. Even though those people are your enemy and you still feel bad for them. That's compassion, brothers and sisters. Sometime I saw those Gentiles' house are being burned. I just saw a little two-year-old girl got burned alive with her mother in a truck. I feel bad for that. I mean, I'm like, damn, man. Well, you know, there's nothing I can do, man. I feel bad for that. But this is this is the most size work. How the hell you want me? 
Look, I must say this again. Those people, they took our children. They fed them to the alligators. They used them. They chopped them with axes. They used them to see how sharp their swords were. They cut our babies. They didn't have no compassion for us. They still don't. They took our children. They boiled them. They chopped them off for meat for the dogs. They cut off their arms and throw them to the dogs. Brothers and sisters, I can tell you right now, if you see anything like this, and even if it's happening to a Gentiles, you will feel bad for those children because this happened to you. You have compassion. You were born with it. And then now, all of a sudden, you Gentiles are coming, running to us. Oh, if you do not have compassion, you won't make it in the kingdom. You won't make it. Love and compassion. Who the hell are you to tell us how to get into our kingdom? Who are you? Who are you people? You think compassion is something that you have to learn? No, it's something you are born with. It's embedded in you. That's why our people are always tricked into doing anything because of their compassion. The enemy, we can kill them, rape, rob, murder them. They still have mercy. They still have compassion upon that enemy. Yeah, man. It, it, it's it, it's something you you man, people, brothers and sisters, don't 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 let anybody come up upon you and make this as simple as black and white. If we baptize those Gentiles, they will be saved. It doesn't work like that. If those gent, if Father choose these Gentiles to be saved, if this Gentile heart is truly repent. They truly feel bad and they, they said, I'm, 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 I'm living that wicked life. I don't want anything to do with my forefathers. May Father, may God forgive them. May God forgive me. I don't want anything to do with them. Please, brothers and sisters, pray for me. I truly feel sorry and they can baptize and be saved. Whatever you want to do it. But just go over there and then take somebody and plunge him under water and then think like saying, oh, you're one of us now. You're going to go in heaven because I said so. Doesn't work like that, Negro. Father is not as simple as you think it is, man. Yes, the Nile. Yes, the Nile happened here in the fourth part. They used to take our little babies and throw them in the Nile, have the alligators and crocodile eat them, and then you're gonna sit there. Somebody that can. Brothers and sisters, you know how much heart it will take for somebody to do something like that? Have you ever watched one of those crime shows? You see somebody kill a person. Not only they kill the person, they cut that person's head off. They chop that person into pieces. How you have the heart to do something like that, man? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, Javins, Jolly Adventures, I am a Gentile. They do hate, trust me, they hate. Yes, they do. Then again, like I said, if you are Gentiles, you cleave unto us, you accept this truth with all your heart, there is no way you are Gentiles, man. There is no way you are one of the lost sheep of Israel. There is no way you can possibly be one of those people, man. There is no way out of it. Look, a true Gentiles cannot repent at all. He doesn't want to repent. This is not in his mindset. He doesn't want that. He's all the way in, baby. He's all the way in. He doesn't care. You told him, hey, I don't care, man. What's up with you? I don't care. I'm going to do whatever. YOLO, you live once. YOLO, you live. I always tell them, you don't, YOLO, no. You live every single day. You only die once. And once you die, you're going to go to a very, very bad place. And that place, you're not going to be able to negotiate and flim flim and lie your way out of it like you've been doing all your life. You're going to pay for your sin because you did not repent. Those people can't be repent, man. Some of our own people that look like us, they are Gentiles. Luke has nothing to do with it, man. Luke has nothing to do with it. It's your heart. It's what's in there. It's somebody you have the heart to kill someone. I'm not saying I, I can't kill somebody. If I'm in a situation, you know, I had to defend myself. Oh, I'll drop that whore. I'll, I'll, I'll drop that bitch dead. But you kill this, not 
killing, you murder this person because that per I was watching a show. Uh, I believe it's um, Dateline. And there's this dude, he killed his best friend. And he killed the best friend, um, girlfriend. He took his best friend. He went to an opera with him. He cut off his head. He saw his head with the hack. And he saw his hands off. He saw everything off. He put it in the bag and throw it somewhere. Oh, like, brothers and sisters, how can you do this? And then this guy was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Will you guys let me go? Will, will I go? Am I free to go now? I'm free to go. I'm free to go, right? I say, I'm sorry. I say, I'm sorry. So what? It happened. I just... This okay, people die, people born, people die. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? And then you're gonna take this guy, you bring him into the church. Oh, hey, oh, I, I'm going to splash you in water, you're going to be safe. Look, this guy that did this, he will do anything to get away with it. If you come to this guy, you say the only way for you is to come and uh, unto us and baptize and repent from all your sin. What do you think this guy going to say? Oh, no? Yes, I am sorry for all the sin, for killing and cut off that guy's head. Baptize me so I can be saved. And then you baptize this guy, and the judge let him go free. And then he went back doing the same thing again. That's how they are, brothers and sisters. Father create light, is also create dark. You can't be in darkness and then bring more darkness to shine upon that darkness so you can see clearly. It doesn't work like that. Yahweh Shai once said, two men are into the darkness, but one of them is blind. When you bring both men into the light, the one that is not blind can see the light. The one that is blind can never see the light. No matter what you do to him, he cannot see it. Simple as it is, man. It's, uh, you know, that's what it is, brothers and sisters. Stay out of the Mosai way. This is the Mosai's judgment, all right? Let the Mosai do his work. Don't be coming over here and tell the Mosai how to do it. Or don't do this to those people because they got a nice house. Don't do this to this guy. He got, he got five beautiful daughters and a YouTube show. You know? Yeah, man. It's just like all of those people out there, you know, um, don't don't waste your time, man. Don't try to fight them. Pray, brothers and sisters. Humble yourself. Pray. Seek Father's face. Don't worry about the rest. You already have compassion. It's something that you were born with. If you have compassion uh, um, for those people, you see them, you don't want them to die. And your brothers and sisters, people think that you always have to say things with your mouth. You don't. You see, when Yahushua Yeshaya, Jesus Christ was with the with the guy, he know what was in the heart. He can look inside him and see what was in the heart. It's not like what you say with your mouth; it's what's in your heart. I can be talking with my mouth into the microphone and project to you that I'm a good person, but deep inside here, I'm a scumbag. I'm a narcissist. I'm a sociopath. I'm probably you know telling you all those good truth so I can reeling you in. And then use you. This is mouth. <laughs> Tongue. The primary source of lies. But this. Inside of his. Your action. You cannot lie through your action man. Alright. So. Brothers and sisters. Your main purpose in life should be to worship Father. Do Father's bidding. Father told you to go over there, murder, rape, rob, kill everybody. So be it, sir. Father told you to go over there, sit in the corner, be quiet. Be quiet. All right, Sister Sharon. You're welcome, sister.
you know? <laughs> yeah, sounds like those psychopaths in the debate. Those guys are psychopaths, man. There's nothing you can do for those people. You think if you pray hard enough, you will change Trump? This is Trump. That's what it is. And frankly, I like the guy. He just show his true color. I have no problem with that. He showed you, yes, I'm the devil. What's up with that? That's good. I like my devil like that. I like my devil to come in straight up and tell me, hey, I'm the devil and I'm a demon. Don't trust me. All right, then. You know? So that's what it is, man. Yeah, so um, you, you, you really have to be very careful, okay? So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about, but brothers and sisters, don't worry about, like, if you don't have compassion, you would not make it in the kingdom. You already have compassion. You were born with it. The most I made you that way, he made them that way. This is the order of Melchizedek was born and buried in you. It's not like something you have to learn. You go learning. Oh, I'm going to learn how to be good now. Lamech of Cain was the biggest murderer back in his time. He realized something is wrong. He keep asking his grandfather, it's like, father, who was that um, of woman that my my great grand my ancestor Cain meet, and his father keep lying to him, and he understand that he understand that his people only know lies. So what did he do? He he go look for Seth line, and nobody wanted to talk to him except for Jared. He went to brother Jared. He said, Jared, please, I don't know. I want to know what's going on. I want to know who was my great great grandmother. Can I worship your God? And Jared tell him, No, you can't. He said, but I'll try anyway. Okay? That, that, that was, he was trying to show compassion. Lamech actually is <clears throat> the line of Seth, but I have a lot of respect for him. He humbled himself. He confessed his sin. He put his hand upon animals, and the sin of him was so great that the animal explode. He put his, his hand upon a cow and confessed his sin, and the cow instantly explode. Boom! And then he been doing this sometime when the when he stopped being clean when he put his uh, his hand upon the the animal the animal just died then his sin start cleaning cleaning. But the most I never had respect on on Lamech and Uval the Rephaim the son of the fallen, both of those dudes they were two Gentiles worshiping Father but Father had no respect unto them. Just like today. You think Father has respect on those pastors and preachers, reverence and imam out there? You think Father has respect unto them? You think Father listen to them? We cannot be like a church, brothers and sisters. We can't. Yes. All right. The sister said, uh, truth, I have gotten taken advantage of a lot because they knew I would do what I could to always help out others, but I know this, I wasn't returned. That is the truth. That is, you know why? Because the order of Melchizedek was born into you. They knew you are a compassionate person. They use your kindness for weakness. They use your kindness for cowardness. They knew for a fact this person is a good person. He will help me. Once I get what I need from her, I'm out of here. They know that it's something that is you were born with. It's not some. It's not something you can learn. When somebody is a scumbag, there's no way. There's nothing you can do for that person. They were born scumbags. They were born evil. Splash water onto them. Uh, yell over them. Beat the crap out of them in the church. Nothing gonna work. You know, there's nothing you can do. Just leave this person alone, man. Our people. This might sound. Wrong, but our people seems the most gullible people. They are not gullible. They just have the compassion in the heart. They just feel hard because they went through hard time. They don't want anybody went through hard time. When I was making a, um my video about one of the things that I, I I got I got um messed up, and I said, well, uh, my car broke down, my bike broke down. I have no car right now and stuff. One sister, she feel compassionate. Our brothers and sisters, they were moved. And they show their compassion to me. It's something that was born. I didn't ask them for anything, brothers and sisters. Look, when you don't ask for anything, the person can feel, say, man, I feel, I, I understand this because once I had my car broke down, I know how that feels. Let me help you. 
I know, brother, big Levi, you have something in your house that is broken. You want to do the work of the Lord. Let me help you. This is compassionate. It's something that is in them. There's nothing they can do about that. Brothers and sisters, you can tell one of our brothers, we can tell one of our sisters, if you see a Gentile in the road, this Gentile fell, don't help him get up. One of them will do that, man. They will help that person get up because it's not in them to be evil. Even though you tell them, strengthen your heart, sister. Strengthen your heart, brother. Don't help those people. The most I say in Jeremiah 6, 16, uh, Jeremiah 6, 17, do not help those people. But they will because it's something that is in them. It's not something you, you, you're going to go learn. You're going to go to the school. You're going to go to college and say, oh, I have a major in compassion. I study compassion. So compassion is something you really need to put your heart to, to, to make it in the kingdom and stuff like that and stuff. It doesn't work like that. It's not as simple as it is. You think splashing water on somebody going to put him in the kingdom, man? It doesn't work like that, man. Your heart. It's here. Stay out of father's way. Let father do his job. Yes, uh, we must love but detach from wickedness. That's why we really need a place for our own people. That's why we really need a place that we can build and stay there with our own people. We'll have compassionate and love for people that have compassionate and love for us. You live in a place that's what most of us don't really get out. We really don't have any friends because you know for a fact uh, they, 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 nothing but scumbag. This person, you help this person, that person is not grateful. It's going to go behind you and stab you in your back and talk him bad behind you and do everything in their power to pull you down. That's why most of us are alone people, alone in this work. That's why I call this podcast Alone in This Work. This is probably the best place or the only place you can come and get together with your people, man. Oh, um, next time, brothers and sisters, I have a question. Next, uh, I would say, on um, well, the next couple of days, I would like to take, um, I would like to take phone call, uh, live phone call through the live. Is that a good idea? Will you guys um do this? Will you willing to do that? Okay. Yes. Yes. Again, the question was, um, do you guys want to call live and, uh, and, uh, you know, and, uh, and a show to give your opinion? Because some of you have great question. I can't go to, um, the live chat because again, YouTube going to mess with that. All right. So, okay. This is what's going to happen. There's a, um, a device. It's not, Give me a second. Um, I have this thing right here that I ordered. Thank you, the sister, for helping me. Okay. Oh. Ah, anyway, it's not in this, but it's a very simple thing, a very cord that I order. It's coming, and then uh, I'm going to get a phone another phone because I don't want to use my phone if you guys call and we discuss thing and then I have another call and no things like that so um I'm going to get another phone probably oh today is Saturday and uh tomorrow is Sunday hmm. probably tomorrow uh I'm going to get a phone and uh it's going to take Amazon probably two days to send the, the cable. It's one cable. It's just a small cable. Um, I got a couple of stuff that I'm going to order in order to set up the, the little phone call thing so you guys can call. Um, yes, uh, I'm going to give you the phone once I get the phone. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can catch the bus, go to Walmart, get one of those. Um, what what they call them again? Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, you know those track one phone, uh, those those prepaid phone. I'm going to get you one, and uh, well, yeah, that's the thing. I'm not quite sure if it will work uh, live on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, just like a live co conference call, just like you're calling in a radio. Because then again, 
so many of our people are talking in here. We really don't have the time to uh, call, you know, read everything, you know, and it was, um, it will work. So all I have to do, I'll give you the phone number, then you will call, then you will give your opinion and somehow we'll test it if it will work with the live. If not, we may have to do it. Um, and uh, what's the thing again? Name again? Um, Google Hangout or Google Meet, because that's the only way, man. It's not the only way is to cleave onto us. You know, you have to. We have to get together. We have to talk, um, brothers and sisters. Are you aware that we have a treasure chest? You know, uh, for the nation. Uh, when Big Judah or any of the brothers need anything, we don't have to beg people. We just go into the treasure chest. Like I said, if we have, if we have, uh, if we have one thousand people pledging ten dollars a month, two dollars and fifty cents every week out of your paycheck, we will in a year we'll have somewhere around one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. And anytime the brothers need money to do anything in the good and the betterment of our people, that's it. Let's see, the cat just opened the door. Hey, hey, get up, get up. Ugh. This cat is smart, man. This cat just, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. No, no. Ugh. No, me. Chocolate. Chocolate, get out. Oh, boy. That's the cat that broke my stuff. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Jaden, come get the cat. It's over there. So I have to get my door locked. There we go. I got to tell you, man, this cat's so smart, man. That cat opened the door, and the door was closed. All right. Let me, let me lock it. Go ahead. She does that all the time, man. I forgot to light the door. Here we go. That cat is so smart. She will open the door and then get inside of the room and jump on me and let me know it's 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 time to feed her or something like that, you know? <laughs> all right. All right, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that cat, that cat, man, it's a... My daughter has like 10 cats and we try to get them, uh, give them away. Just, oh boy. One cat. She had like one cat in like less than a year. We got 10 cats in the house, man. It's just crazy. So now we got people coming and take them away. Okay. Like I was saying, um, the call, the call is something that I'm throwing out there tomorrow. Um, I order, uh, already ordered the, uh, the, the the stripes they are coming the, the the line the XLR cable so when it comes and we'll find a way so um I can uh hooked up everything in here so we can um talk because that's that's the only way man you know with your own people that's a uh, that's uh that's the only way you can do things because we really cannot talk or call talk to somebody that do not share our own mindset I got people in my own family. They are straight up scumbags. I can talk to them about anything. If it's not about scamming people, you know, if it's not about swagger jacking people, don't call them. They're not down. You know, it's always about like something negative. You can call them and say, hey, man, um, you see what's going on in Colorado? They're like, what's going on in Colorado? Is there something there? Is there something good for me in there? Uh, no, there's a fire. Well, uh, all right, man, I'll talk to you later. So, so that's the only place that we can get together and then talk, you know, and so stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, brothers and sisters, okay? Just be grateful, all right? Just um, pray, you know, and don't worry about learning compassion. It's not something you can learn or something that you have somewhat, you have to go somewhere and buy that Walmart or order it on Amazon. It doesn't work like that. It's something that's already in you. The most I will not give you something that you're going to have to, it's impossible for you to get. Anything that the most I throw out there, that's because you can get it. Okay. All right. So um, I am going to uh, do, uh, oh boy. All right. I'm going to try to 
למיסים. Tomorrow is Sunday. The store will probably be closed. So we'll be, we probably be going to be ready for that on Wednesday. Wednesday, um, if everything went according to plan. And then Wednesday, we'll have live calling. And, uh, you know, people can call and then talk and have the opinion and things like that. You know, make sure that we, because that's what this podcast is. I mean, this channel is, is how people get together, sharing ideas and things like that, you know where we can do, uh, where we can get together because we really can't go to our family members. We really can't go to our friends. They do not share the same mindset that we, we share. Okay, that's a form of get out of her, my people. That's a form of get out of Babylon, okay? You know? So um, we have to do this. So um, yeah. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, this is what I wanted to discuss with you. Stay out of the most high way. Let Father do his job. This is not your job to stand in his place and tell people, oh, uh, you have to do this in order to make it in the kingdom. You have to do that. If Father decides you're going to go to the kingdom, you're going to go to the in the kingdom. If Father decided you're not going, I, I can guarantee you you're not going. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, yeah, brothers and sisters, uh, if you have any question, you know the email. Uh, you uh the email is in the uh, uh, link of description go ahead send your question anything you doubt if you're chosen gentiles you want us to you want to pray with us yes you want us to pray for you send up your prayers be humble in your heart like i said if you're quote unquote you believe you don't look like us you look like a complete other nation but this go through your heart you feel you know it's a truth there's no way on earth you are gentiles man. you cannot be a hidden it's impossible. You have to be one of the chosen and lost tribe of Israel. Humble yourself, all right? Don't come over here and tell out uh, the, the people that's been here and the Mosai choose how to do the Mosai's work. Humble yourself, okay? If you need us to pray for, for you, you got any question, Jews and Gentiles alike, chosen and grafted, let us know, all right? We're here to help the nation. The nation is here to help us. All right, brothers and sisters. So, all right, brothers and sisters. On three, I want everybody to uh, um, uh, press the like button. All right, press the like button on three. Good, good, good. Yes, Sister Rebecca, we, are, we pray against the chemtrail. And okay, before I go, press the like button. Let me explain to you, based on my research, the chemtrail, what they really are and what they are for. Um, I'm going to try to make this short. There's two. There's contrail. There's chemtrail. The contrail is natural. When the plane reaches a certain speed, a certain height, the air is moisture. The, the air, well, the air is actually is a, another form of water. Okay, the air that we're breathing is like water. If you take the air, you suck it up in the bag, you hit the bag, it will, the condensation, it's water. So there's water up there. We know that for a fact, the Bible tells us. So when the airplane is going fast, it leave a contrail, which is stay for a couple of seconds and it, it disappear. This is contrail. However, there is chemtrail. A chemtrail is a very specific chemicals. That's why they call it chemical trails. Chemtrail. That's why they are spraying it up there. The main reason, brothers and sisters, they are spraying those chemtrail is to hide the things that are in the heaven. Is to hide the um. The, uh, the the signs, the omens, okay? I have a playlist in my channels called Holy Signs in the Heaven. I suggest you can go ahead and watch all of them. You'll see the signs that I personally experience in the skies. 
They don't want people to see this. The, the chemtrail, they have some type of chemical in them. When the sun heated it up, they are, they are heat stabilizer. When the sun shine into it, they all came in and blocked the sun. And also they have, well, they have chemical in them. You're not supposed to breathe any chemical at all because you're going to get sick. Okay? So if you are one of us, you cleave unto us, those things cannot touch you, man. There's nothing you, you can. If you have a little headache or something like that, see a physician, see your doctor, see what it is exactly. Don't let people put fear on you and say, oh, the chemtrail, they're about to take us down with the chemtrail. They've been chemtrailing like for, you weren't even born. They've been chemtrailing the sky. Hide the homens. Hide it. Don't listen to people telling you, oh, the chemtrail, they try to control the weather. If they could, they would have sent all their clouds and form a huge uh, rain and then put out all the fire in California, Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, all the West Coast. They cannot control the weather, brothers and sisters. Don't, don't let anybody tell you those people have father status. They don't. They can't do none of this garbage. All right? Okay, brothers and sisters. Yeah, a lot of uh, came to where people live. Trinidad, um, that down in, in South Florida, you know, they can do all, everything that they do. It it it, it won't. You know, they 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 have a chemical in them because they are chemicals. They have poison things that can make you sick. But then again, uh, you know, we are under the wings of the Holy Spirit. She will protect us. She's the beloved earthly mother. She will protect us. Those things, again, those things they are spraying to kill you, most likely are killing them. Those things are killing them, okay? All right, so, all right, brothers and sisters, thank you for pressing the likes button, all right? We're about to leave. The Mosa is in control. That is true, all right? On three, we're going to type the name of the Mosai and uh, and uh, comment, give him all praises and glory. Tell him thank you for blessing this little podcast we have. Uh, we try to make things be better. All right, all one, two, three. All praises to the Mosai, Yahweh, Ahaya, Yahuwah, Yah, Emmanuel. All praises, all praises, brothers and sisters. All praises. All right. There we go. All praises. All right, brothers and sisters. I raise my hand in peace. I'm leaving all of you in peace. Please be at peace, brothers and sisters. There will be no Jacob's trouble. What you're experiencing right now, it's called the Gentiles' tribulation. Esau's trouble. Esau's trouble. Esau's trouble. Be at peace. May peace be with you. May peace be among you, brothers and sisters. Peace. All right. May peace be with all of us. Don't be scared of the um the uh, came trail or none of this thing. No weapon form against us shall prosper against us. They are digging that hole, they're gonna get buried in it. Be at peace, all right. Shalom, honor, and respect. I see you guys whenever I see you. Okay, love. All right then. Thank <laughs> you.